Welcome back to the Christian Foundation course. We're up to study number 46 in the Doctrine of Baptisms. Let's get straight into it. In the last study, we saw that people were, were jumping out of ministry and swapping and changing, and Paul was a bit upset with it. Here, we'll look into verse, four, th sorry, verse 42 of Acts chapter 2. And as many other words he testified and exhorted them, saying, this is Peter, be saved from this perverse generation. Then those who gladly received his word were baptized, water baptized, and that day about 3,000 souls were added to them. That's a pretty good um, day there. And they continued steadfastly. Now this is now what did they do? They continued steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship, in the breaking of bread. Now, Jehovah Witnesses, why do you have memorial once a year? Because these people continued, the early church continued steadfastly in the breaking of bread on a daily basis and in prayers. And then fear came upon every soul and many signs and wonders were done through the apostles. How were the signs and wonders done? By the Holy Spirit. Now all who believed were together and all had all things in common. And so on and so forth. Now the thrust of this lesson, lesson 46, is really about the doctrine that we listen to. There are so many wrong doctrines, it's, I just don't even want to go there. But here in uh, Romans chapter 6 and verse 17, where is it? Romans 6 and 17. There. But God be thanked that though you were slaves of sin, yet you obeyed from the heart that form of doctrine to which you were delivered. Now what was that form of doctrine? What was it? It was the finished work of Christ. It was, I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. It was the crucifixion, the message of the crucifixion and the Christian life in the finished work of the Lord Jesus Christ. That was the doctrine which delivered them. And if we jump over to 1 Timothy 4 and verse 16, Paul talking to Timothy says, Take heed to yourself, and possibly, I say saying this to us as well, and to the doctrine. What doctrine? Honestly, what doctrine? The doctrine of the finished work of the Lord Jesus Christ. Continue in them, for in doing this you will save both yourself and those who hear you. What is the doctrine? It is the finished work of the Lord Jesus Christ. And so we move on to 1 John, the epistle, 1 John and chapter 1 and verse 1. That which was from the beginning which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked upon, and our hands have handled, concerning the word of life. So sucked in Jehovah Witnesses, there he is, Jesus Christ, the word, the word of God, the word of life. That's the word of God, isn't it? And they'd seen, heard, and handled and everything with him. The life was manifested. And we have seen and bear witness and declare to you that eternal life, which was with the Father and was manifested to us. There you go. That which we have seen and heard, we declare to you. What's, what are, there's the doctrine. They're declaring it to them, that you also may have fellowship with us. And truly our fellowship is with the Father and with his Son, Jesus Christ. And these things we write to you, you that your joy may be full. So there's joy in having the doctrine, the right doctrine, which is the message of Jesus Christ, crucified, buried, and raised again three days later, and in that we have peace with God. If we look in Acts 20 and verse 7, now on the first day of the week, when the disciples came together, to what? To break bread. Again, Jehovah Witnesses, what is going on? What is going on in that organization? This was something they did on a weekly, if not daily basis. Paul, ready to depart the next day, spoke to them and continued in his message. Now, what was his message? Jesus Christ and him crucified the finished work of Christ. And he continued unto midnight. So in Galatians 2 and 20, Paul says, and we should say with him, I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live. 
but the Lord Jesus Christ who lives in me and the life which I now live in my body, I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Like, comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you in the next talk. Yeah, Dr. Jason Morrison, Theologist again. I just want to say thank you for watching the videos and I uh, hope you got plenty of uh, self-rediscovery and freedom out of it. If you watched it on YouTube, please share or like. Um, maybe even comment. If you watch it on Facebook, like, comment, share. Um, but most of all, get out and live. This isn't a rehearsal. You've got a one-off life. Don't let your loyalty and your faithfulness blind you to the life that you should be experiencing. Till the next video, thank you for watching and bye for now.